Hi, welcome back to Camera Cravings. I hope you're all well. In today's video, we're taking a look at the super resolution feature in Adobe Camera Raw plugin for Photoshop and seeing what it can do using AI to enhance the details and resolution of your images. So if you want to follow along with me, I'll put an image down in the description below to the raw file I'm going to be working on. And it's an image I took in Stockholm, Sweden. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open your image up. Now this is going to work probably best on RAW files, but it does work on JPEGs, PNGs and TIFFs. But I think you'll get the best results from RAW files and you can open it from Adobe Bridge like I'm doing now. I don't really use Adobe Bridge, but I know a lot of people do. So I wanted to show you doing that. So you're just going to go right click over the image and open in Camera Raw and that will open it up in the Camera Raw plugin for Photoshop. You can also just open an image by right clicking on an image and opening it in Photoshop and it should then launch the plugin as well. So there's a couple of ways to do it. Currently, this feature is not available from Lightroom, although I understand that Lightroom will have this feature in due course. So look out for that video when that comes to Lightroom. I'll do a video on it. Once you've opened it up, as you can see here, I've got my image down here and um, you can go to the film strip mine as default had the film strip here you can either right click on the image here and click enhance or you can just right click on the main image here and click enhance or even over here you can go to the three dots here and again click enhance so whichever way you want to do it once you do that you get this dialog box come up this is the enhanced preview and as you can see you've got raw details which is something that was introduced to camera raw a year or so ago i think it was and then the new feature which is super resolution which essentially doubles your image resolution so what it actually does is takes the longest side of the image and double it and then the same on the shorter side so you end up with a very very large file and we'll talk about file size later but when you click super resolution you'll see that the raw details tab is automatically clicked and you can pan around your image and it will give you a preview by holding your left mouse button without enhancement with enhancement so we'll click enhance now depending on your computer and particularly your graphics card this will um, take either a short time or a longer time so for me i'm on a 2019 imac it's pretty new and it's pretty good and as you can see, that took a matter of probably 10, 15 seconds. Um, this file is from my Sony a7R2, so it's quite a big file size to start with. Quite a lot of information in there. I found I've done a few tests with Canon R5 files, Sony files, the a7S3 files, which are obviously a lot smaller, they're 12 megapixel sensor files. So. As you would imagine, the larger the file, the longer it will take. But yeah, most of mine have been um, between probably about six and 25 seconds. But I know I've looked on forums and some people are really struggling with this because their computers aren't, aren't capable enough to do the processing that's required for, the, for this um, feature. So if you find it's taking a long time, that will be why you may need to upgrade. So once it's open, as you can see, the enhanced um, DNG file up here it shows it's an enhanced DNG. So the original file was the Sony ARW type and here it's the enhanced DNG file. And as you can see, we're getting a different um, zoom because the file size is different. So if we go back to the original and have a look down here, it's 42.2 megapixel and it was 7952 by 5304 and the new file is 15904 pixels by 10608 and you can see it's a 169 megapixel file now so it is significantly larger now something else that i should mention is if you have cropped your original image so as you can see here i've done a slight crop the DNG, the resulting enhanced file, retains the rest of the image. So there's a couple of things to mention here. As you can see down the side, I haven't done any corrections to this image. 
Now you could do all your edits and corrections here in Camera Raw and then do the enhance or you could do the enhance first and then do the corrections. I don't think it really has much of an impact. I can't, from my testing, it doesn't seem to change anything. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but that's my understanding. The only thing that I've noticed is that obviously by default here, the sharpening is set to 40. Um, what I'm actually going to do is just reduce that to zero and take away the noise reduction just so that we've got a comparison between the two images that's fair because I'm not sure how the sharpening works on the enhanced image versus the normal one. So if we open both of these in Photoshop, we'll be able to see the difference more clearly. So as you can see, I've got my original image here and I'm going to set that I'm going to zoom in. So let's go over here and this is quite a good part of the image because you can see the name on this boat is a little bit unclear and you can see quite a lot of um, lines and texture in the roofs and things like that. So it's quite a good, good one to look at. And then if we do the same on the enhance, so I've zoomed into 200% there. So on the enhanced one, I only need to go into 100% to get the same size of image because it's actually double. If we just swap between the two, so that's the original and this is the enhanced and hopefully this comes across on YouTube, but obviously you can do it yourself and see the difference on your own files. But there is a real difference in um, sharpness and quality. And as you can see, it hasn't pixelated or anything. The quality of it is actually better and if I actually zoom into 300% on that, on this boat, I can't really read that very well. It says something express, I think. Whereas if I go here and I zoom in to 200%, Metala Express, that says. Whereas here on the original, if I go 400%, I can just about read it, but you can see the difference there. It's quite clear there's a big difference in quality there isn't there and you can make out a lot more of the details and on this particular image I don't really see much in the way of artifacting or any issues with the image as a result of the enhancement and as you can see the clarity is there to be seen like the rooftops everything it just looks great and obviously we're really pixel peeping here but if you did want to zoom in fairly considerably and crop quite considerably, you would be able to do that. And I want to show you a couple of other examples that I've tested because on some of the images, I have noticed there are some issues. So if we go to this image, which I shot on the Canon R5 with the 800 millimeter RF lens, the F11 fixed aperture lens, and it's a red kite and if I zoom in, that was the original image, if I zoom right in, let's go into 200%, let's go right in actually. So this is 600%, so this is a, a you wouldn't normally do this, but I just wanted to show you the, the differences because they are minor, but you can tell. Now obviously there's quite a lot of noise in this image originally because it was shot, I believe, at about 2500 uh, I say because it's an F11 lens and the bird was moving fast I had to have the shutter speed up high. The original image wasn't great to start with in terms of noise and artifacting and things like that. Then that is when you run into some issues with this enhancement and you may not again be able to see it on YouTube but around the eye here you've got an area that it just hasn't quite worked properly. And there's also green kind of spots of color noise and artifacting sort of all around the image really um, under the wings and things like that and on the original those bits just aren't there so as you can tell there is some issues with this i'm going to move on to another image here this is a shot i took with the a7s3 i noticed on here once you zoom in again if we go into uh, 200 percent 
and look at the top of my glove here there's a little bit of green there's a few marks here now if we do the same on the enhanced image you will notice that again there's just some sort of random color noise or artifacting not sure why but it's there and it isn't on the original image so just be careful with how you use it and make sure you're aware that it may cause some issues in your images but to be honest they are very minor and as you can see the main image looks really good it's just that if you were printing something large you might notice these things here's a final example to show you this was shot with the a7s3 and a 7200 lens and again this is a shot out my bedroom window across my town and over to the woods and i wanted to zoom in closer really obviously i only had a 70 to 200 so again the benefits of this enhanced feature is that if i wanted to crop in say like that so that's 200 percent i could do and on the enhanced i would only have to go in 100 percent. and again you can just see the difference in the clarity and you might say it looks over sharpened in the trees and those sort of areas but it's personal taste to some degree but you can see the quality difference in the buildings in the the turret here the roofs if i just flick between them there's real clear differences if you wanted to open multiple images to do this and do a batch process now if you wanted to batch process images in this way you can do this in adobe bridge and basically if you hold um, control and click the images you want let's go for those three and then you come up and you click this which is open it in camera raw and then what it will do is it will open all three images here and then again hold shift and click across them and then go to the enhance again and what it will do is enhance the three photos as you can see it gives us the time remaining and if we do that it's going to obviously take longer because it's dealing with three images rather than one now if you don't want to open the images afterwards in photoshop you can make your adjustments adjust your exposure all of that stuff and then what you would do is just click done and it will take you back into Adobe Bridge if you use Adobe Bridge in that way. A couple of things to mention, if the resulting image would be 500 megapixels or more or 65,000 pixels on the longest side, the Adobe Suite won't allow that. So Camera Raw will come up with an error message and it won't let you make the enhancements. Similarly, you can only do this once on an image. You can't do it and then reopen the image and then enhance it again and that doesn't work either so it's a one-time thing but i think it's a fantastic feature i'm really impressed with the quality of the image after you've done it actually i've tried it on quite a few different images everything from my old canon 60d images that i shot a few years ago through to the canon r5 and the sony a7r2 and the sony a7s3 all of the cameras that I've currently got and it works well on all of the images there's a um, few issues as I've pointed out on some things where you've got noise in the image already or artifacting already and it kind of just makes it worse but overall yeah hugely impressed hope you found that video helpful if you have please do leave a like comment below with any questions you have or anything I've missed I'm sure I haven't covered everything in the video and yeah if you haven't already please do consider subscribing it really helps me out helps me to grow the channel and yeah if you want more photoshop content please drop a comment below and i will look forward to seeing you next time